All right, Todd is back. Yesterday's a beaut. Awesome. Loved it. Loved yeah. it yesterday. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, so, yeah we were uh, doing a little gardening. Gardening with Gutner. You heard of that? <laughs> Incessantly. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I have. It's a thing. Can't wait to get my t-shirt. Yeah, it's, it's growing, but too. It's your thing, but yeah. Yeah, and it's gaining, Gro it's growing. gaining steam. It was growing. Yeah. We're growing together. Plant, totally. Planting some seeds. <laughs> We're doing that too. <laughs> We're planting something. Uh, we did mushrooms yesterday. So like stay compost. tuned for that. It was like really, really cool. It smells like compost. A little, a little <laughs> it stinks <Yeah>. a little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was fun. <laughs> it's always good hanging out with you on the desk there. You never know where it's going to go. Uh, frost advisories till 8 a.m. up in the mountains and across parts of Aroostook County where the growing season has officially begun. Um, hopefully, if you had some plants that you put in the ground over the weekend, you know, you covered them up a little bit or brought the potted ones in the house or the uh, garage or the shed, something to give it a little shelter. It's cool out there. We've got 40s and yes, 30s. Look at Rumford in the Androscoggin Valley right now is a chilly 36. We've got 42 in Bangor. Orono is the same, but Herman is 37. And as you look up north, Holton, Presque Isle, Frenchville, yikes. Escort station is 26. Yep, so there is a nip in the air early on this morning, but the high is beautiful in a great spot. It's going to keep us dry for the next few days. Eventually, this high is going to shift to the east and allow for some of that moisture, the humidity, the uh, muggy air to flow back into the New England area. And that will lead to some showers and some uh, rumbles of thunder too late in the week and probably over the weekend. We'll get to that in a sec. We're going to have a beautiful sunrise, though. Already seen a little light on the horizon. Grab a little layer if you're leaving the house early. Um, it will be chilly. Mostly sunny, very pleasant for the middle of our day. There will be a breeze, super light one, but it will be on shore today, and that will cool off the coastline within a few miles of it. It's a light ocean breeze, but things get cooler in the afternoon and evening here. While they stay milder here, everyone's bright and everyone is rain free this evening, too. Here are the highs either side of 60 right along the coastline, Portland 61, but Bar Harbor 59. Inland, several degrees better. Callis, one of the warm spots at 68 today. Augusta, our capital, 67. Freiburg, 67. And mild and pleasant up in the mountains, too, with temps in the mid to upper 60s. Tomorrow, same thing. No rain at all. The high still in a good spot. We get sunshine and we get that pleasant air. And then by Thursday, the high is shifting east. We're starting to see return flow here. Humidity levels begin to rise, and then they really spike on Friday. And with some fronts in the vicinity of Maine, we will have some showers, probably Friday evening. Unfortunately, this entire system is going to be really slow to move. There's likely to be another low that forms on the front, and that will likely keep some showers around over the weekend. And I've turned a little more pessimistic about the weekend forecast, especially on Saturday. I know yesterday we were I was cautious about leading to a lot of sunshine. That's why I kept the showers in on Saturday. I'm kind of glad I did because it looks like we will be dealing with them at least on Saturday, perhaps Sunday too. Now here's the marine forecast one to three footers northeast winds 10 to 20 knots. Here it is spelled out for you on the seven day forecast. Sunny and pleasant today. Really nice tomorrow too. A tad warmer tomorrow inland around 70 degrees, muggier on Thursday with partly sunny skies. And then on Friday, we'll have a little fog to burn off in the morning and then showers move in in the afternoon and evening. It will feel warmer though late in the week with highs inland in the lower 70s and coastline in the upper 60s. Showers are likely on Saturday. Yesterday they were a possibility. Now I'm a little more pessimistic. On, I know, I know. And they may linger unfortunately into Sunday now with improvements on the holiday itself. So, you know, I mean, we're still sev several days away. I don't like the trend, you know, what's going on here, but hopefully that trend reverses. We'll yeah, see. We are going the wrong way on that one. So yeah. I'll give you time to fix it. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Appreciate sure. it.